Hi, it's Corrine for the Wild Orchid Crafts design team and today I have another wedding album to share with you. I will have a link down in the description box for Wild Orchid Crafts and also I will list all the products that I used from Wild Orchid Crafts in today's project. So check out the description box and I hope you stop by Wild Orchid Crafts and check out they have new Christmas flowers in. Um, beautiful flowers so I hope you stop by and check it out. Today for this wedding album I use the Cartabella Rustic Elegance Collection and this is a gorgeous, gorgeous collection. I'm so excited how this album turned out. And I used everything, I the only thing I had, I had two um, packs of it. The only thing I have left, I, I actually made two albums with this. So the only thing I have left out of that besides the sticker packs are just scraps. And that's literally all I have left. So. I just love this collection. The other thing I used in this collection is the digital uh, papers that I got from Snap Click Supply. I will link that down in the description box as well. It was great to be able to mix and match and be able to use the digital form as well. So you get, well I bought the full element pack along with the paper pack. So like this here is from the digital collection. I didn't obviously use this in the album, but um, I cut it out, printed it out, thinking I might use it. So also one last thing is in the description box I will put a link to my mini album tutorial, how I make my mini albums. It's not the same size as this, but the concept is the exact same. So here is the front of the album. I, I love this paper with the hearts and I had this little heart in my collection for probably five years. I believe I got it from Michaels and it went perfectly with this collection. So I added some large, medium, and small open roses in the ivory. This is from the digital collection that I printed out, cut it out, matted it on black, and added some chipboard under it so it has some dimension. I added a glitter ball here and a few of the self-adhesive pearls from Wild Orchid Crafts. On the side I used one of the Wild Orchid Craft cutouts and I added this from my computer on the pattern paper and added some of these self-adhesive pearls. And then the back is the same paper as the front. So this album here is a chunky album. It is, I believe it's five and a quarter by seven and a quarter and the spine is four and a half. I use the Laura Dennison Stack the Deck Binding System. I'll link her tutorial in the description box as well. It's my favorite binding system to use. Um, I like adding, I do a half inch I believe her tutorial shows a quarter inch, but you just up the measurements to get a half inch out of it. So on the front here, I use this beautiful paper. I added some crochet twine and again, another element from the digital cutout. I added Mr. and Mrs. to it and some of the tiny ivory open roses. On the side here, I added the word perfect and this is a bow cut from the digital element. So I added this paper into it and cut out the bow. I added some bling and every single page has a pull-out mat for more photos. I added a bracket tab to it. So they're all the exact same. I won't pull them out. I did some on the top here and some in the middle to offset them. Here I have two of the journaling cards from the collection and I love their collection. I love that it's double-sided so that we, they can add photos to the pockets as well as journaling or photos on the journaling cards as well. This page I left blank just for photos. On this side here, I folded over the corner of the paper, added some of the design paper, added a bow that I used the digital collection and cut that out. I'll put uh, the design number that I got this from at the Silhouette store in the description box. Added a flat back pearl and again they can add photos to the pocket. I love this paper, the mason jars. Here are some photo mats. This is cut from the collection. They had, um, here's a little piece of it for you to be able to see. They had a bunch of cut apart, so I cut a bunch of those off and added them throughout. That's one of them here. I added some of these beautiful pink flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts and it matted it. 
I matted one of the cut aparts on a black mat. It says just married. And here's the little frame that they can add dates to or a tiny photo if they wanted to. I'm so happy with how this album turned out. I think it is so pretty. And I will have this album for sale on my Etsy store. So there will be a link in the description box below for that. So this side I did a flip up. It's magnetized. And this is the digital paper. So by using the digital paper on some of it, it really makes the collection go a little bit further. On this side, I used a Marianne design die that I got from Cut It Home. And it's beautiful. I backed it with a black heart and offset it just a little bit so it stands out a little bit more. I added the word true love, a few of the open roses. And I took apart one of the open roses to make this a flatter rose. I made a bracket style pocket that I backed with black mat so it stands out. And here are two more of the cut aparts so they can circle the day that they got married on, whoever receives this album. I love the colors in this collection. On this side I did a side pocket. I added some of the beautiful lace along with the flat back pearl trim and some more of those ivory roses. Here, this is from the digital collection, but as you can see, it matches the paper. I just did um, smaller hearts on it, and this as well. I backed them both on black, tied some seam, bone, seam binding to it. I like not cover this paper. I love this paper, so I left that blank for photos. On this side, I used one of the journaling cards to make a pocket out of. It says, Have, happily ever after. On the side here, I used some of the pleated trim from Wild Orchid Crafts and some of the flower trim. I added several of the tulips, hip rosebuds, open roses, some seam binding, and two little wedding rings tied in there for a little cluster. Look at that trim on the pleated box trim. It's so cute. I added a large tag with a bow and a flat back pearl. On this side I made a small scallop pocket. This is one of the cut aparts that I matted on black and added chipboard under so it's dimensional. I love this. They can add photos to this pocket and then this large cut apart. On this side is, is if you follow me you know that I've been making accordions inside of all my albums. It's a great way to add more photos to your album and as you can see this paper here it came with it it came on a large 12 by 12 which unless you're doing a 12 by 12 album it's really useless so this also comes in the digital kit so I just made it the size that I wanted and backed it on black and now they can add quite a few more photos in here I added some black seam binding to tie it to keep it shut. And when I do the accordion and I add seam binding, I leave it a little bit longer. That way they can add photos and the, it, the ribbon has enough room to give them then for them to add the photos to. And then once all the photos are added, if they wanted to trim these down a little bit, the tails that they could. So on this side, this is another form of the digital. It says, here's to love and laughter and happily ever after. I made a bracket style pocket. It's magnetized, so it flips open and down here as well for more photos. Personally, I wouldn't cover this up. I love this. On the side here, I have a cut apart from the paper collection. It says Mr. and Mrs. I added some satin ribbon and I did a bracket style waterfall. So all of these pages can um, have photos added to them. On the side here, I did a side pocket. I used some of the DCWV glitter paper. I think it looks beautiful on that. And I added one of the cut aparts that has the word love and backed it on some black. In here I have a photo mat from the paper collection, a journaling card, it says you and me. And here I made a little book that they can open up and there's more paper from the collection. They can add photos in here, photos on these mats or just use those for journaling. So all of these just tuck right in here.
On the side here I made a little pocket, side pocket out of some of the cut of parts. I added a bow with a flat back pearl and I love this paper. I added a photo mat, again more of the cut of parts but it's left open so they can slide a photo under it. Here are two of the cut of parts from the collection. So these just tuck here, they can add a photo or two and photos on that as well. Here I did another side magnetized so they can add tiny photos, two by two photos or journaling or just leave it blank, leave it for decoration, add a photo here. And lastly I made a side pocket using a Spellbinders Borders die, I believe this is the Borders 3 die. Yeah, this is the Borders 3. I used black paper and then that beautiful paper. Uh, two of the cut aparts. I added some of the Wild Orchid Craft Self Adhesive Pearls in ivory. And to the pocket, I added a mat, one of the cut aparts, and actually two more of the cut aparts as well. So they can add little dates to these if they'd like. And on the last page, I just left it open for a large photo mat, added some of the flat back pearls around, and then a few of the flowers and leaves, a cluster there. So that is my wedding album. Check out the description box for all the information below, and please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching.